Hi, I have another fun technique to share with you. This is called black velvet technique because it produces the look of a black velvet painting. These are the tools you're going to need for this technique. You're going to need some quality colored pencils, not the ones the kids use at school, but some good quality colored pencils and you can find those at your craft store. You're going to need a pencil sharpener. You're going to need um, some white ink, either stays on uh, white ink or a white pigment ink. And if you're using the Stampin' Up! inks, this is the craft stamping pad that you're going to use. You're going to need some black cardstock. You'll need a stamp to stamp your image. And the stamps that work best are ones that have large uh, solid areas instead of a really fine detailed stamp, but a, a stamp with a large amount of solid area. You're going to need some fixative. And the key to this technique is the sans odor. This is a low uh, odor solvent, and they sell this at the craft store. You'll find this where the, um, the oil paints are sold. And you're going to need a little container to pour this into. Okay, the first step is to stamp your image on a piece of black cardstock. Now, I told you you could use either white stays on or white pigment ink. I prefer to use white pigment ink just because I feel it gives me a more opaque image to work with but it's really up to you. You can experiment and decide which one you prefer. Um, anyway, you're going to ink up your stamp. Make sure that you get a, a good solid coverage on this. And stamp your image on your black cardstock. Okay. Now I can hit this with the heat gun to set that, but I'm not going to do that for the demonstration. And it's, you know, it's really up to you. Okay, then you're going to bring in your colored pencils. And it's really key when you're working with colored pencils in this technique to be sure that they're really nice and sharp. So that's why you want to have a pencil sharpener on hand. And I'm going to pour a little bit of this sans odor into my container. And you don't need very much because a little bit goes a long way. I just pour a little bit of that in some kind of container and I recommend using a glass or a metal container instead of a plastic one because um, I think the solvent tends to not work really well with the plastic. Okay, when you go to color in your image, you want to start with your lightest color first. And because we're working on a black background, the light and the bright colors are going to show up the best. So you want to start with your lightest color first and I'm going to start with my yellow. And you're just going to dip your colored pencil in the sans odor. You don't need to hold it in here for too long, just a little bit. And what this does is it just softens the colored pencil up so it kind of glides onto your image. Um, I mean, you, you could color the image with colored pencils without using it, but once you use it, you'll realize the difference. It just um, makes your colored pencil almost go on so smoothly, it just glides on and it also allows you to blend the colors. So I'm going to do this fairly fast. I would probably take a little bit more time if I wasn't doing it on camera. But you're going to put on your, um, your lightest color, as I said. Go put it on first. So I'm going to quickly put my yellow up here. Okay. And then I'm going to do my next color, which I think I'm going to use my orange next. I'm going to also dip that in here. And just, you can see, um, I can even lay that over the yellow and the two colors blend together so nicely. It's really kind of an addicting technique. It's like, uh, well, it's like coloring. Coloring and painting. So, um, and then I would go with, let's see, I would do my brown next probably. If I can get it out of my box here. Start with my light brown. And color that in. As I said, I'm doing this really fast. And then if I wanted to go in and put um, some shading with a little darker brown, I could do that. And once you get a little bit of practice, you'll, um, you'll figure out how, you know, how much you need to dip your pencil. And I don't know how well this is going to show up, but you, you see how that's going on there? Isn't that just gorgeous? Now, when you get your image all colored in, 
you're going to um, use some fixative on it, on it. And this fixative can also be purchased at the craft store. They usually sell this where they sell the oil pastels and the chalks. And what this does, it's kind of like a hairspray for um, your colored pencils. It's just going to set the colored pencils so they don't smear um, when people handle the card or it gets mailed. So it's really important to use this. And it doesn't take long to dry. So, um, and you do want to remember to use this in a well-ventilated area. So you might want to take this outside and just um, spray your card when you get it all finished. And then you just mount your card together and you are done. Here's the finished piece. I've mounted it on um, my card here and added some embellishments, but isn't that gorgeous? I mean, the colors are so vibrant and they show up so well. Here's a couple of other samples that I did when I was practicing for the video. Um, I haven't put these together for a card yet, but just look how gorgeous those colors turn out on that black background. They just pop. They really do. And you can see just bright colors work really well on this. So it's a really fun, fun technique, and I hope you give it a try.